Welcome back to IDL's South by Southwest Expert Showcase. I'm here with Michael, who's going to be talking to us today about crypto and blockchain. And Michael, tell us, tell us a little bit about what you do, because I find it so fascinating. Yeah, th thanks, Johnny, and thanks, Abel, for, ha for having me. Um, so the, uh, I think we're a full-service law firm, and I'm sort of the, I'd say, like the concierge to our firm's blockchain practice. So what does that mean, and what are we trying to accomplish? I'm going to give you an example, okay? Let's take a, something that's very popular right now. It's called the DAO, the Decentralized Automated Organization. Okay, and so those are a structure that at this point recognizes a legal entity in only two states. It's a very uh, simple thing to form the technologies there, and we have a lot of people that are super interested in doing that. Most of the time when you form a DAO, you're going to be talking about issuing a, a governance token or it could be a token that gets traded on an exchange or it could be used to, in the construct of a, um, you know, some other venture like a real estate or something like that. And so we're in an area where the technology has far outpaced the law. So if we contrast to the law in, say, Delaware, you have Delaware LLC. Everybody knows what the rules are. You have to be capitalized. You have to have your regular meetings. You know, and if you, fo you follow those clear paths, you know the outcome. Uh, you know where the tripwires are, and none of that exists for this type of stuff. And, and so people can go and they can, they can create a security overnight. Uh, and, and have they created a security? Maybe they don't even care. You know, we have clients where we, we say DAO's done right as an example of our team's motto. We want to make sure that, for instance, if you that we don't put you in, we risk mitigate for securities issues. We either try to help it so you either are going to get a make a registration, or we try to make sure that it's not a security. Um, are you going to be trading money? Things like that. So that's kind of our mission. Would you say oftentimes the companies that come and work with you don't even know that? they are about to commit a crime potentially or i think it rain i mean the ones that come to us are at least self-aware you know that that they're that, that that they want to retain the help of a you know there's a contrast between like okay you're a big law firm you know do you really even understand startup mentality do you have the capacity to work with us do you understand the technology that we're going to use you know and so um but i will say like i do know of companies that uh, have had a you know a holy f type of moment like you know once they become successful and they're like wow we didn't like we didn't do this right you know it could right. be an edit i know one nft company has had that kind of a moment we're like are we trading securities and if i think if if you can learn from those lessons you know that i think a lot of people plan for success mentally but they don't budget for success they don't they don't risk mitigate for success right if that, that makes sense it completely makes sense do you also help companies launch like under the proper format or is it oftentimes companies already running could be both i mean we okay. have a we have a, what we did we decided that um pretty early on that for, for for my team for my approach what i wanted to do was a lot of the advice really is counseling could be business counseling could be connecting people so i brought in a a, a cfo who's he he did the uh, securitized token offering for Lottery.com, and so it was very early in the space. His name is Rafi Ohanesian, and so he's part of our team, even though he's not part of our firm. And so we can bring in people that understand, you know, he's been through the securitized token offerings. He's issued multiple coins. So we try to make sure that we understand ourselves that there's a limit to our, our own experiences in the space. Yeah, know what you know and know what you don't know. That'll help that you. Is never, that is never a bad idea, Johnny. <laughs> so, so, Michael, where could the people on Ibble find you other than now Ibble, because I yeah. know you, you just got Ibble too. So, yeah, so Michael Tomasula, I'm on LinkedIn. Uh, Winston and Strawn is my firm, and then my I just registered at Ibble. I love yeah. the app, and the whole the whole activation you guys have here is awesome. You know, the card counting guy was amazing. Just yeah. bringing experts in. I think uh, I'm crypto underscore lawyer at Ibble. Okay. Um, so I, I got to upload a picture, me and my dog. So this is the pretty pretty. Look at this. There we go. I don't know if you can zoom in on that. <laughs> yes. So that'll be my picture. Um, yeah. So, yeah, that's kind of our space, and that's kind of what we're trying to do is just to, to try to, I, I would say, like, a good example of, of our approach is, you know, we have a, a, a launch philosophy. Like, they'll say, like, okay, Johnny wants to get his product to, to launch. We'll say, okay, here's some things that we can uh, – do it cost effectively and here's some things we can't really skimp on you know and then if you're a success which isn't always guaranteed with with your hair johnny i assume you'd be a success <laughs> but uh 
if you're a success, we'll say, hey, we're going to have to go back and patch some holes, you know. But we understand that, like, costs are a concern when you're trying to get through launch and we try to, like, come up with ways that we say, like, these are just the fundamentals that you can't skimp out on. You know, we'll try to do them cost effectively, but it will be a big mistake because you, you want to be built for success. You don't want to be come tomorrow's litigation client or even worse, you know, tomorrow's white collar defendant or something like that. A hundred percent. Well, I really appreciate that you and your company are able to take that customized approach um, to, to help clientele. That's incredible. It's a heck of a lot of fun. You know, you're working with working with these, you know, four guys from MIT. They're I mean, they're barely out of college and they're so smart and so yeah. aggressive and so hustling. It's just fun to be um, it's fun to be in the space. That's awesome. Well, thank you for being here yeah. uh, today at South by Southwest with Ibel. I uh, really appreciate having you, Michael. Yeah, I had a great time, Johnny. All right. Cheers. Thank you. Thank you.